Okay, we are here in the middle of nowhere down near the Santa Rita Mountains in Helvetia, Arizona. We're going to visit the old cemetery here. And as you can see, it's in the middle of nowhere. And there's the Santa Rita Mountains right there. And there are billions of butterflies and some really huge wasps out here. So uh, I'm going to have to take it easy. Kind of last minute did this because we're on our, uh, well, our camping trip was canceled. So we're going to go up here and take a look around, do some drone footage. Okay, while well, she's going over that way, I guess I'm not going. I'm going over that way too because there's nothing over here. Okay, 1880 to 1909. Wow. Oh, there are a lot of moonlight ones. These look well maintained. The monsoons have overgrown. And somebody obviously comes out and maintains them. flowers out. Let's see more graves over here. So watch out for snakes too because look how overgrown this is. This could be fairly recent too because I mean they've gotten a lot of rain down here in this area of Arizona over for the past two or three months. I mean just gully washers. We're gonna have to keep an eye out for rain when we are uh, we're heading out because there's a lot of washes that can become flooded really quick and you don't want to. Looks like there's a remains of a grave here. Wow. A lot of these. Ooh, holy crap. See the size of this grasshopper, dear. Should have worn my long pants. Wow. Small grave here. That might have been a baby. Is there a shoe on? Small ones, but I'm not sure if they're kids or just like urns buried. Yeah. This has shoes on it. Where is that grasshopper? I can't see him now. I don't know if I caught him on the camera or not. Oh, there he is. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on him with my camera. Hold on. Well, I'm not sure if I got the grasshopper or not, but he was huge. He was about this big, several different colors. But there are tons of flies and bugs out here. I've never seen so many. Oh, wow. There's graves over here, too. There's trees growing out of the graves. Walk really careful here because there could be all sorts of critters and could be flowers too. I always like this area more than I do up by the Phoenix area. It's just, oh, it's awful up there. There's a very tiny grave. Somebody at some time puts uh, flowers on these things. Looks like it's been a while for this one. There's another one. It looks like the cross beam of the cross fell off. And here's a fenced in one. I think I'm going to take, get around and take a picture of this one if I can. I'll get a picture of this too. I don't know if I can read it. A key to scan San Los Restos de Tomas E. Sanchez. Que nació el 1882 y murió el 1909. Es un 
Recuerdo de su, pardon, I'm butchering my Spanish. Hermano Victor, esto fue puesto en el 1976, I think. En el 24th de Julio, I think that is, July. I'm going to get a picture of this too, so I'll show you a picture of the sign. I'm going to pause and take a picture. Oh, I didn't see this a second until a second ago. There's a little paper here. It's getting real faded. Buried here by his father, Salvador Sanchez. Thomas Sanchez, buried, born 1882, died 1909, 27 years old. This copy of his wedding photo, placed by his grandniece in April 2022, Grace Sanchez, granddaughter of Jose Sanchez. Tio Thomas, you are not forgotten. Yeah, the wedding the photo is faded. It is photo paper. So, very sad. 27 years old. Let's see what else we got. Uh, no, I'm not going to walk all the way around. There's too much, too much brush, too many critters. Here's a small grave. Uh, very overgrown. And there are flowers on it. I wonder if there's any record of who's buried here. I'm going to walk around that way and come around because I don't want to go. F you know, maybe. I'll be stupid. And I think that's probably a grave there. There's cairns everywhere. But they're not marked. All right, there are these beautiful flowers. What a peaceful spot. It's in the 90s right now, about 95 degrees out. And it still doesn't feel bad. There's a grave right there. Keep coming around. All right. And I'm going over here. in mind we are only a few miles from the border here oh this is a very nice gravestone wow for a two-year-old child born february 6 1907 died july 17th i'm gonna get a picture of that one and we're back battery's getting a little low so i may have to stop and swap out batteries there are tons of bugs out here Well, this looks like it was a grave. There's a grave right there. So much history down here. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it. Snake hole. All the flowers. A grave right there. There's another one where it's overgrown. Couple more here. We get a picture of this one, and we'll get the drone out. Yeah, I'm getting eaten alive here. I'm gonna have to go back in the truck. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, and this is Cruz something Lopez, 1864 to 1927. January 2007 is where they put this thing up. I'm going to get some pictures of this. Then we'll get the drone up.
seven and a half or seven, I think it said 7.7. So it's almost eight miles in, so. We've been through worse. Oh yeah, we have. I'm just telling anybody who wants to come in here who hasn't done this, bring something that can has, I don't necessarily need four wheel drive, just something that can take a shaking. Don't bring a sedan or something like that in here. Jeez, it was. Okay, bring it in here. Then call him. Not me. I like that. There's no shooting yet, though. I know, signs the signs are, are all shot up. Yeah. You see beautiful mountains over this way, too, but I'm not sure I'm getting them because they're there, right there. I wouldn't target shoot. No, that was I don't see them. Cow. Yeah, cow upset him, so he shot it and then found out it was a sign. I can't imagine living here. You have bug zappers going off every five seconds. We made it. And we're back on pavement. It's weird, all this white is like chalk. I don't know what it is. It's just rock. And now we have a housing development over here now. It just changes. You can tell by the dirt in the road that they get some good rain here. 